Hi, record and nose rolling. It is Thursday, May 16, the day before AP exam. You guys are gonna show up at 7.30 in the morning in the gym, be there, exam. All right, for hit record, if you guys have any questions and uh, here, yeah, let's cover experimental design. So uh, experimental design. Uh, this is going to be one of your five free response questions, right? Okay. You guys remember the format of the exam is there's 90 minutes for 50 multiple choice questions, and then 90 minutes to do five free response questions. One of them is going to be experimental design. Oh, and it's going to be uh, a 12 point question, right? So one of the big ones. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. So yeah, th there's there's a predictable format as to what these going to be. Right. So uh, I think about like being these five parts. Part one is a question. Now, when I have you guys do lab write-ups, uh, I always have you guys listen to step number one, but they're going to hand that to you, right? They're going to say, you know, figure out something, right? So they'll hand you some scenario, right? Maybe, a, you know, could be turntables, could be Atwood, could be inclines, right? you know, could, could be collision parts, right? Uh, could be pendulums. Uh, and, you know, who knows? You're going to ask anything, right? But it's going to be related to you know, something we've been covering. Right. And then... Uh, they're always going to say, uh, what, or, or maybe I should ask you guys, guys, what, what, what's part two? Yeah, exactly, exactly, right? So what measuring tools, what measuring tools do you need uh, to measure what variables? To measure uh, variables. All right, uh, there's a, uh, well, yeah, I bet I've got it in the stack right here. I should have a poster with just here it is, here it is. Right. Just measuring tools, right? You guys remember these, right? Right. So it's gonna be something off this list. Uh, well, minus volt meter and ammeter, right? So okay, so, okay. Right. Oh, then what's uh, next part? They're gonna go into. Yep, procedure. Uh, I'm gonna specify it a little bit more. I'm gonna say data gathering. Procedure. Right. Uh, the most recent FRQ, it was like this. They, they split this up where one part was oh, uh, just what variable are you measuring with what measuring tool? That's it. Right. So, hey, I'm going to use the meter stick to measure length uh, of a string. I'm going to use the stopwatch to measure the time to from beginning to end of blah, blah, blah. Right. So, okay. I'm use the protractor to measure the angle from the horizontal. And all you're doing is just saying how you're gathering the data. Right? At this point, you have a table full of data. Okay? Uh, now step four is going to be what? Analysis. Analysis. Okay? So it's, it's probably going to be separate part. Like this could be part C and this could be part D or something, right? Some kind of analysis. Okay? So what are you going to do with uh, that data? Right? So, uh, and it, it's usually uh, either equations or graphs, right? That's, that's usually, right? Either you're gonna break out equations, you can refer to right, this page, could possibly be helpful, right? Uh, or they're gonna want you to analyze some aspect of graph. They might say, how do you linearize, blah, blah, blah. I mean, we've done so much linearization, especially last few weeks for Ruby, right? Right, right. So right, how can you take this data and linearize it? Just look at anything we've done <laughs> for the last few weeks, right? Right, uh, and then uh, some conclusion I'll throw on here, conclusion. There you go. That's that's right. every single FRQ pretty much is going to fit that format. Right. Uh, also, uh, here, there's also a detail that always comes up with these two, which is um, I go back to data gathering procedure. Right. There's a specific step that you always want to mention for a point, guaranteed every time, which is what? Uh, repeating it. Uh, repeating it to make it repeat again. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, multiple trials uh, to read it. Uh, um, times and then find the average. Yeah, if you say, right, three times and take an average, right, uh, again, like before you change the independent variable, right, so. Um, do, you, do you have to say to, like, the actual phrase to reduce the or do you just say repeat the uh, th That should cover it, like, uh, like multiple trials, right, but um, I, I think it would also include the phrase, like, to reduce experimental uncertainty, to reduce experimental error, uh, to reduce random error, right, I would pick one of those phrases and throw it in, right. I did. Uh, I remember going to one of these conferences, and there were, there was an AP grader. I, I mean, there, there's so many little details like this. Uh, right. Uh, I, I don't know if this is a widespread thing or just a. Right. 
she said um, she hated the term human error. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know. I guess that's just a thing, right? So maybe try to avoid that in case that's a thing, like avoid the phrase human error, but experimental error is fine. Random error is fine. Okay. Right. Right. So, okay. So you guys get with that one? All right. Uh, any any other question you guys want to cover specifically? Or, okay. So maybe I should switch over to multiple choice questions. Just pull up some random ones. All right. Let's do that. <laughs> 